Hello everyone, welcome to Anthropology Analytica. I'm Dr. Arjun Boparna, Anthropology faculty at Insights IAS. So in today's video, let us discuss this question that I had posted in the previous video. So the question is, what is pedigree analysis and to what extent it helps us in understanding genetic principles in humans? So the first chapter in biological anthropology deals with methods, genetic methods uh, to understand genetic principles or methods to understand genetic principles. So the first topic within that is pedigree analysis or family tree analysis. So pedigree analysis, what is it? What are the features of pedigree analysis and to what extent it will help us in understanding genetic principles? So the first part is define what is pedigree analysis, write about the features, draw a diagram, put it in a box and label the diagram and then you write a little bit about the uh, application about the pedigree analysis as to how it is useful in understanding genetic principles and within that what are the things that is uh, what are the things that it can help us understand but then the question is also asking to what extent it can help so you also have to write its limitations so it is not foolproof it is not very effective to understand all the genetic principles. It can only realize something. It cannot achieve and understand exactly what genes are leading to uh, which, which gene is getting inherited. Okay, so these are the limitations. So limitations and the, uh, you know, uh, application. So application benefits of pedigree analysis and uh, to what extent it is useful in that context we'll have to also write the limitation so look at the structure what i have presented over here so you have to define what is pedigree analysis you can use your own ways to understand and write about it or you can use some definitions which are given by uh, you know uh, uh, scientists uh, anthropologists etc so we can write about galton's definition of pedigree analysis then you'll also have to write a, a diagram uh, a sample diagram of uh, pedigree analysis take a particular disease autosomal recessive or autosomal dominant or any particular example any particular disease and show its uh, uh, inheritance uh, through family uh, members across generation and then you will boldly write the application of pedigree analysis how it is helpful it is one of the most easiest and the simplest uh, technique to study genetic principles. It does not require too much uh, technical knowledge. Uh, even uh, 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 you know, a person without having too much genetic information uh, can also conduct this kind of uh, study. So uh, rapid studies uh, and uh, uh, population studies relating to inheritance can all be done using pedigree analysis. And then you'll also have to write conclusion saying that yes, uh, if you want to uh, truly appreciate genetic principle in addition to family tree you need to also or pedigree analysis you need to also supplement it with today's modern technologies so these are this is the structure of this particular answer now if you have to find a definition uh, it is a method of studying genetic aspect of man with the emphasis on inheritance of trait that shows a regular transmission from generation to generation in a family. This is given by Galton. Okay, so basically pedigree analysis is a, a, a chart that you prepare uh, by asking questions from uh, different members of a family in order to ascertain how certain diseases, certain genetically, uh, I mean, where you are uh, trying to understand the genetic principle of inheritance of this particular trait across generation okay so that is what is your pedigree analysis and over here something like this you will have to draw a family tree a pedigree analysis and try to uh, mention figure and then write what particular disease you are trying to represent over here so that is the initial part of your answer and then you will write the uses and application of it so it helps to predict the risk of recurrence of genetic disorders okay how the genetic disorders are transmitted uh, across generation what uh, who is more susceptible so therefore when you know who is susceptible you can take appropriate actions 
okay so genetic screenings are done further to understand uh, the risk factors uh, so then you try to intervene and prevent that disease or take actions before it becomes uh, you know uh, 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 come to a situation where there is no further treatment then it also analyzes the source the mechanism and type of genetic disorder what is the source of uh, this one and how it is inherited whether it is inherited through dominance uh, or is it an inherited through recessive manner etc it also helps to study genetic principles which in turn helps us to understand or provide information about allelism and linkages studies etc it also helps us to understand the nature of inheritance of diseases it also is very useful for research purpose because it provides valuable sources of information okay and uh, uh, tries to understand how genetic um, diseases are prevalent in different uh, population etc so it is very useful in that respect also now coming to the limitation to what extent it is useful okay so you need to also know the limitation so the alleles uh, the, uh, though if it is present it may not be expressed for various reasons okay so basically pedigree analysis tries to help us to understand how that gene is being transmitted from one generation to another but it happens it you can do so or you can uh, use this only when the gene is being expressed but there are so many times even though the gene is there it is not going to be expressed it is not being expressed so that is called as lack of penetrance so in such condition it may falsely be shown that the person is normal but yet there may be presence of that gene then the expression may be influenced by sex of the individual so that is your sex influenced traits then there is variable expressions and this variable expressions could be because of uh, epigenomes or it could be because of environmental factors uh, where it influences the expression of gene further a particular trait may have influence of both the genes as well as the environment so influence of the environment may falsely give us an impression that it is being uh, expressed in the form of gene so it may look like an inherited trait but actually it may be an environmental factor that is causing the uh, particular trait then there could be deviation from mendel's inheritance so there are several reasons why this simple mendel's inheritance may not be adhered okay so therefore because of these limitation we cannot with 100% accuracy determine the genetic principles of a particular trait so in the conclusion then you will write pedigree analysis can thus only present a broad indication okay the advanced method in genetics like karyotyping dna studies dna fingerprinting etc needs to be um, you know done in order to ascertain the genetic principles and how inheritance takes place with 100% accuracy so this is how your answer should be presented for this particular question so write about pedigree analysis a little bit context a diagram the features and then the application and then the limitation and finally in the conclusion a futuristic perspective or what else needs to be done in addition to pedigree analysis okay so i hope this was useful in the next video we will discuss a concept called as epigenetics or epigenome uh, thank you for watching.